there is a growing trend of support for euthanasia in America. According to a 2016 Gallup poll, 69% of Americans believe euthanasia should be legal. Compare that to 36% in 1950. Joining us now, Kevin Dunn, an award-winning documentary filmmaker producing Euthanasia Deception, released last year, featuring stories from Belgium and Canada. And your work has also appeared on EWTN. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Laura. So you're doing a new one now that is focusing on how euthanasia in the U.S. is being abused. Let's take a listen, if we, if we can, just to a little bit of it. Where assisted suicide, euthanasia come in, that's taking away hope. They're saying, give up, quit. You can't do it. You can't make it. Don't hope. Who's going to suffer the most? We're looking at the vulnerable. Uh, and really, all of us are going to suffer in the end when it comes down to it, because uh, as many of the disability advocates say, we're all one step away from being vulnerable, disabled, uh, accident. Look at the shooting that we've been covering uh, that happened yesterday here in our nation's capital, outside A our capital. Absolutely. And, and, and it comes down to that idea of quality of life, who determines quality of life. And from my, uh, from my travels in Belgium and the Netherlands, we know that these, these countries that have lived with these laws for over uh, 15 years, quality of life is now something that's being determined by the state, by others. How so? Quality of life, meaning the state is deciding who should die and when? Well, you take a case uh, in, in, in Belgium in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in 2013 in the Flanders region, 1,000 people killed, euthanized, without request. Most of these people, uh, uh, dementia, um, Alzheimer's, unable to make decisions on their own. And they're happy to, to talk about it. That's either the uh, they, doctors. The, who's happy to talk about it? The people who are, who are doing this are happy yeah, to no, say this is what we decided to do. Happy, but it's out there. It's yeah. like, well, these people, you know, they were close to death and it was, it was time for them to go other people in put, uh, putting their value of life. Well, you're a, you're a Catholic and a, and a very devout Catholic. And, yes. um, you know, we believe as Catholics that uh, you respect life from conception to natural death. Is that in part what's driving your filmmaking? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I come from a family of seven uh, kids and my, I have six children of my own. Um, the idea that uh, we are not what we can do we are it, it's about who we are I mean John Paul II John Paul II showed us that even in his final years as he came out could barely speak or, or couldn't speak um, but that spoke to that spoke to the disabled uh, people out there it spoke to all of us to say it's not about what we can do it's about who we are and that our suffering is valuable our, our place in this life is valuable well, we're looking forward to seeing your next film, and we thank you for coming on to the program. Always a pleasure. Kevin Dunn, award-winning documentary filmmaker.